Hey folks, it's Slash and Rahul here. Today's topic of the video is, is it actually possible to become the Hulk? First of all, how did Bruce Banner become the Hulk? The origin starts way back from 1962 when he first appeared in Marvel comic books. He was accidentally exposed to gamma rays during the detonation of an experimental bomb. Banner is physically transformed into the Hulk when subjected to emotional stress at or against his will. And also, Barry used to suffer from personality disorder from his childhood. So does that mean this green dude is a human exposed to gamma radiation? But sadly, this is just a fiction. But not the gamma rays, okay? First of all, what the heck is a gamma ray? First, you need to know about electromagnetic spectrum, which means the range of wavelengths or frequencies over which electromagnetic radiation extends. It consists of radio waves, infrared, visible spectrum, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves of frequency which is cannot be seen by the naked eye. Infrared is a radiation which is emitted particularly by heated objects which is also cannot be seen by the naked eye. Visible spectrum is a portion of electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the human eye, like rainbow. Ultraviolet is a radiation having all around us, but the only problem is we can't see it with our naked eye. X-ray is an electromagnetic wave of high energy and has very short wavelength, which is able to pass through many materials opaque to light. And finally, gamma rays. It is an electromagnetic radiation of a kind which consists of photons in the highest observed range of photon energy. It has the highest frequency and shortest wavelength compared to the others in the electromagnetic spectrum. It is actually at least 10,000 times stronger than the visible light. Let's say you got exposed to gamma rays. Would you be able to transform into the Hulk? Sadly, it is a no. But there are some scientific explanations what's gonna happen to you. First, your cells eventually die and cause radiation poisoning. Second of all, if you do survive, the mutated DNA makes some of your cells cancerous. But human cells are mechanized in a way to repair most of the damaged cells. But in this situation, the cells are no longer be able to repair themselves and will die due to gamma radiation. And rarely, your cells might mutate and you might become the Hulk. I'm sorry, that was just a joke. You might just be ending up with a tumor forming. And all the young Marvel fans out there, I give this message not to expose yourself by gamma radiation, cause that's, that's stupid. If something is fiction, doesn't mean that it is real, okay? So, peace out.